Today I'm going to get my Morgan Press injection molding machine up and running. Welcome to another episode. I've had this machine for a while but haven't uh, taken the time to get it up and running and finally decided uh, to take the time to get it up and running. One of the things that uh, prevented me from doing it is because, as you'll see shortly, I couldn't find all the pieces, but I unearthed those. The other thing you're going to see as I go through this is that I'm kind of stumbling my way through. And the reason I'm stumbling my way through is because I read the manual a number of times, but that's the only information I have. I didn't have videos to show me all the details of how it works. So I'm hoping that this video, even though it's uh, struggling through, is going to help other people who get this machine. For those of you who don't have one of these machines though, I still hope you find this interesting. So what I'm going to do is get everything hooked up, get it powered up, and make a part using a mold that came with the machine. For a long time I was trying to figure out how to hook up the air to this. Uh, and what I discovered is that there was a box that I had buried that had the missing pieces of the puzzle. And once I found that box, it fit in with the manual that I'm going to show you on the screen. Basically, there are three connections up here, and then one connection down here. And that's what got me confused. But then I discovered that I have these mufflers, and I'm pretty sure that these mufflers go into the two outer positions up here. And then the more important piece, which is what I found in the box, is this. And this is part of an optional kit. This is a uh, flow regulator so that you can control the speed of the piston when it's injecting. And then this is a pressure um, the regulator for the RAM because the RAM has a maximum of 160 PSI. And then this goes to the connection down here. So this is gonna to go to the connection up there. Uh, and then this is where the air, the incoming air comes in. So now that I have it all figured out, I just need to get some Teflon tape and then get this hooked up. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on that. Okay, I'm not the interesting part because uh, there's a long piece below this. So I think this is going to be low. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay. This is good because uh, this rotates freely. So that means I can just put some of the uh, tape on here and that get a wrench of the correct size. And then I should be able to just put it on there. Of course, this makes putting the tape on a lot easier as well. Okay. So that's hooked up. I need to put something in here. Uh, looks like it's quarter NPT, so I'll get that out and put that in. Okay, that feels like that's in there pretty well. So now I'll put the uh, the mufflers on the top, and I don't think I need a uh, uh, thread sealer on this, so I'm just going to screw them in. So I have uh, some air pressure applied, and what I'm going to do is, is uh, first apply some pressure to the clamp. And I can hear it now. And then, uh, let's see, I've got this closed, I have this closed. So what I expect is that I should be able to pretty soon... Okay, so this is up to about three. Let's see, push the clamp. 
Okay, so that's clamped. And that's released. So, so far so good. Uh, that means this is working. So now what I want to do is I'm going to clamp it and I'm going to see how much space I need for this uh, test mold that came with the machine because I want to try that test mold first. So I'm going to clamp it again. And then I'm going to look here and what I can tell is I need to crank this down. So I'm going to release the clamp and then go to the other side here. And there is an Allen wrench. I need to put it in, push it in. And then yeah, it's going up. So I'm going to move it, I'm going to move it down to here. Yeah. Okay, let's try that. See how that looks? Okay, so I need, I need to move it down a little bit more. And I've got another one here that I'm going to use. So, go down. Yep, I can feel it's moving down. It's, it's pretty slow. That looks like it's uh, going to give me clearance. So now I'm going to put this in there. I'll raise the safety here. And now there's an interlock. So if I try to engage the clamp, uh, the interlock will keep me from doing that. So it's a safety feature. OK, I brought you down for a better view. There's a screw uh, hole here. And then there's a hole in the bottom of here. But um, I don't have. Uh, the right type of screw, I basically need a stud. Um, so what I'm going to do is just center this on here, uh, visually, and then uh, bring it up close. So I have to close the guard. And you may have heard that uh, there was some whooshing sound. Okay, and so what I can do is I can tell that I need to go up by about half an inch or less. So I'll put my finger here. Let me uh, zoom out so you can see. So what I'm going to do is put my finger here while I uh, crank this up on the side and basically crank until I see a gap of about half an inch or so above my finger. So I'll go up to about a quarter of an inch. I think I'll do a little bit more than a quarter of an inch. Okay, and then I'm going to try again. I was able to basically raise and lower this a few times until I, I could see that it was going up straight. Um, now the next thing is that this toggle clamp is not toggling all the way. So what I'm going to do is uh, increase the toggle clamp force a little bit. Right now it's uh, less than two. So I'm going to set it to about three. Try it again. Okay, and you can see there's no clock. So we're looking at this clamp right here. And so I'm actually going to give it a little bit more pressure. I'm going to go up to four on the gauge here. Um, I don't want to go too high, but that's what's four tons. So I'll try it now. Okay, and it looks like it went all the way, but we're not getting a clunk. So that means I need to go up a little bit. I'll do one turn. and then give it a try again. Okay, no clunk. Well, maybe a little bit of one. Another turn. Okay, and this is just not going over center, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Let me go down a little bit. Yeah, it's just not going over center. Yep, 
Okay, I'm going to take it up to uh, 5. And I don't want to go any higher than that, but I'm going to try that. There's the clunk. So let me try doing this again at 4 or 3. But I think I should be able to get it to, to the clunk at 3. And if I can't, that means I need to lower it a little bit. So I'll do half a turn and give it a try. Ah, did you hear that clunk? Okay, I'm going to engage it. And it gave a nice clunk when it uh, went over center. Okay, let me... Uh, Go up, quarter turn, and see what happens with the clunk. Okay, that's even better. So that means uh, it will have a nice clamping force. Okay, let me go down, I mean up another quarter turn, and see what happens. Okay, so not quite enough. Okay, so that means I need to go down, quarter turn, and then this should be the optimal setting. Yes, okay. So that's how you set the, uh, the clamping force on this. So now that I have the clamping force set, what I'm going to do is uh, uh, put some plastic in here and get it set up so that I can actually inject something in this test mold. I plugged the machine into the wall, so I'm going to turn it on, which is behind here, I think. It's on the side. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on. And you can see that we've got the two heaters. This is the barrel heater and this is the nozzle here. And I understand if I press... Okay, so it's saying the target is 432 for that. 432 for that, so that looks good. So I'm going to let this heat up and then I'm going to put some polypropylene into it and give it a try and see if I can inject one part. And I'm going to stop at one part because I'm just learning how to use this machine. This is the hopper where the plastic goes and this is also a safety interlock. So I'm going to put some plastic in there. There's a uh, the barrel is here and then there's a hole in there. and the machine came with a scoop. So I'm going to grab some polypropylene. Okay, so I've got some polypropylene. And what I'm going to do is pour it into there. And there's probably a better way of doing this. So I'll have to read the manual again. Here's a, sh a chart that shows the different materials. And as you can see down here is polypropylene. And it's actually suggesting 460 for the barrel temperature and 475 for the nozzle temperature. So if I press this in, I can change it to 460. And then this one, which is the nozzle, I want to set to 475. Uh, one thing I discovered is that it didn't work the first time I tried it because you have to push this all the way in uh, to basically for safety. This is a, an interlock. I had it right here, but it has to be in like this, which makes sense because this is much more secure. All right, it's uh, just about heated up. So I'm going to give uh, this about 60 PSI for injection. It's a pretty small mold, so I don't anticipate needing a whole bunch. Uh, so let's give it a try. All right, so I, that worked. That means uh, now I can lower the, uh, the clamp, open this, and uh, you can see that uh, the sprue 
let me uh, zoom in. Okay, so here's the, uh, the sprue. So I can turn this and uh, you know, then take the sprue out, which is pretty cool. Now I need to pull the mold apart. And okay, so it didn't inject anything. Um, so that means I can uh, give it another try. So I'll put this back on here. So I'm going to increase the uh, pressure a little bit to, um, I'll do 80 PSI. And then close the shroud. Close the clamp and then inject again. And then open the clamp. Okay, let's see how that did. Okay, take the sprue out. Okay, and then I'll open this and I can see there's plastic in there, so let me bring you in closer. Uh, you can probably see the plastic in there now, and if I pull this off, then you can see the plastic there. And uh, let me get something to pry that off. And let's see how this did. Okay, first part from my Morgan. So that means now it's time for me to learn how to actually design some molds for this and make some parts for real. But that's pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, in future episodes, I'm gonna be making other molds for this machine, doing some improvements on it uh, to make it nicer to use, such as venting the, the gases to the outside through that window back there. So please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, Comment below and I'll see you next time.